Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at some LED light diffusion projects. So let me just jump right into it. So this is the projects that we're working on. It is a light up LED tombstone with the Halloween M4 as the animated eye. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of the challenges in getting good light diffusion. So the project has some pretty good looking light diffusion and it's all thanks to the black LED acrylic. This stuff is, is like magic. It is some of the best material for doing light diffusion projects. And it has that extra uh, benefit of like just staying black. So in, in, in situations where you want to have some really good vivid lights coming through a sign, black LED acrylic is really awesome. So you can get some from Adafruit right now, sign up to get notified when they're back in stock, or you can check out uh, Tap Plastics. They have some, it's a little bit darker material, uh, but if you really, really need it, you can check them out from them. But I'll have both of the links in the description. So really what I want to share is like the prototype of the, of the, of the tombstone, the prototype, uh, how I came to get this good light diffusion. So I'll share with you guys uh, the first kind of prototype. So really the first one was, the idea was to mount the LED strips to the side of the tombstone's framing. So inside the tombstone is some area for the LEDs to fit into. And I had them this way. And normally when I work with like edge lit acrylic, this normally works really well. You have your LEDs on the edge of your acrylic. However, black LED is a little bit different where it's really dim if you do that. So this is what it looks like when I close up everything. The light was very, very dim. It looks okay in the photo, but if you compare it to this photo, you can see that it's like a night and day. So what? how did I get this? Well, I took the cover, the LEDs, and I offset them this much. So there's a lot of distance now from the back cover to the, the frame, to the acrylic plate. So the, the real thing is here is to have your light source pointing from the back and with some distance. Uh, so mounting them in the side didn't quite really do it for me. So it was I had to figure out a way to make the back cover offset from the tombstone. And I instead of like extruding the, the tombstone thicker, uh, I didn't want to do that because I felt like that the proportions of the tombstone wouldn't look as good. So I figured I need to make a separate frame that will cover up the back and then allow the back panel to snap fit into that. So that's what I had to make. Now, if you, if I were to install the back panel right now into the frame as this, this is actually what it looks like. This is what happens when your light source is really close to your acrylic panel. Again, this is black LED acrylic. Um, so what happens is you get some hot spots and you can pretty much see where the light, the, L, the individual LED light source, you can see where they're coming from. And that's a kind of neat effect if you're going for like a marquee style look, that could look really well. But for this one, I really wanted this effect where the entire uh, piece of acrylic is fully illuminated. That's the effect that we we're going for. So let me jump into the CAD and show you what I ended up with. So in diffusion, here we go. Here's the first version of the prototype. It's just uh, two, uh, it's a three piece, three piece thing. So you got your front plate, the tombstone framing, and the back cover. So if I remove the back cover, you can see here how I have the LED, like strips of LEDs mounted to the inside here. And they're not really that far away. They're pretty close. So if I do a measurement real quick, you can see that from edge to edge here, the, the strips are about 12 millimeters away. And normally that works really well if you're using kind of clear edge lit acrylic, but this is black LED acrylic, so it's got a little bit of difference. So, so that's what's going on there. So I figured in the version two, is to make the framing a separate piece that's offset so that I can still kind of, it still kind of looks like a tombstone, like the proportions of it looks, I, I think, better and than uh, having the whole tombstone framing like extruded out. So if we do a cross section, we can take a look on the inside and see how uh, there, uh, I applied snap fits uh, to the frame. So if you see the, uh, there's nubs on the edge here, on the top edge, and then the back framing has these grabbers and that's what kind of holds onto the frame. So it's still modular, you can still take it apart. And then the back cover itself has grabbers that fit onto the nubs on the top edge of the back frame. So this is kind of a good way to show how you can stack different uh, frames together and still have them be snap fit. Uh, so I thought that was a really cool little technique. And another thing we'll do is to just take a quick measurement I'll measure the back cover surface to the back of the acrylic. You can see here it's got 25 and a half millimeters. That's a little bit more than an inch. So 
I think a good rule of thumb is when you're trying to create an, a, a light up project, a light up sign with black LED acrylic, I think the magic number for the best diffusion is going to be at least an inch. That's going to be my rule of thumb uh, going forward. Uh, but however, it doesn't always have to be that way. I do have another project that is basically a light up sign with black LED acrylic, and that's the busy box interruption sign. So let's take a look at this one and showing uh, how different this one is. Uh, what's going on with this one is I actually have the LED strips mounted to the inside of the frame. So you can still do that. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it depends on the placement of the acrylic. In this case, the acrylic is like mounted up away from the frame. So that gives it a lot of space too, and it gives a lot of room for diffusion to happen. Uh, so that's another way to do it. This is a really fun project too, uh, if you need a busy box sign. It has a snap fit cover, and it's really easy to, to uh, take the, the acrylic panel out and slide it out and slide in a new one. That was like the whole, uh, the whole thing of this project. But it's still black LED acrylic and just a, a kind of a different approach uh, to getting that good light diffusion. So if you're working on a project and uh, you're looking for some tips on light diffusion, I hope that helps you guys uh, in your future projects or current projects. Uh, again, we'll have uh, links to this learn guide in the description. And I'll also have um, the black LED acrylic uh, from both from Adafruit and from Tap Plastics. Also, definitely check out the Hollowing M4. This has an awesome IPS display. Uh, it, it's got that animated eye. You can change that out if you want to display bitmaps or you want to display GIFs. You can do that. It's got built-in um, amplifier for doing sound effects. You can plug in uh, a, a new pixel strip right into it directly so there's no solder required. It has that feather header support so you can add on different um, things to it. Lots of ports, expansion ports, cap touch, accelerometer, all those good things and much, much more. So definitely check out this board. If you're just getting started with electronics, it's definitely a good one to get. All right, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys are inspired and keeping safe out there. Don't forget to make a great day. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.